today I will show you this Python code of uh, simple actual load of any beam bar like PL upon A formula for deformation and stress will be P by A formula. Here you can see that one pipe is that one uh, one and is fixed and other is and is uh, force applied about 10,000 newton. So we will apply this, this stress analysis by Python code. So here you can see that uh, stress equal to P by A area is equal to uh, pi by 4 B1 square plus B outer square minus B in square and deflection is equal to PL upon A. P will be this load and means this land we have to fix support to up to this this total land area is pi by 4 uh, D outer minus B inner square and E is equal to modulus of elasticity. We wrote this Python code for this PL upon A. This will be simple and we will make it. So how to write that code? We will first input our parameter. Like this is we want to what we will uh, have to input data. Here you can see we have to input our load, area, length and modulus of velocity. So uh, area means pi by 4 d outer minus d inner. So we have to input our data d inner diameter and outer diameter. So this is the file for this. This is command for uh, input this uh, when you run it uh, this code input will help you uh, enter the data. So here you can see that all input is there and this is actually notepad plus plus you can download from simple the simple google search notepad plus plus you can download for that this int means it will only input the integer value you can't put the uh, decimal value if you uh, want to here uh, as a decimal value you can change this, this float up to there I have to input only the uh, integer value, so I had wrote the int command. If you want to add decimal value, you can float the uh, means you can uh, change it float. So I had input d1 means the inner diameter, outer diameter, load, length of cylinder, and modulus of velocity. Now we will calculate the area. Area means uh, a pi by 4 d outer minus d inner square. So here you can see that uh, this square root means square is different sign. So uh, you, uh, by Python you can see that uh, actually uh, many of case you can see that uh, square root means, means square means like this symbol. But in Python we have to uh, this uh, double multiplication uh, we have to do. So this is area and stress is uh, force upon area. So force will be calculated means get from this command and area will be from this. So stress means P by A. So in uh, stress here you can see that uh, it will be stored in S. So we have to print that S. So we will print this is uh, when in, in inverted comma. So it will be uh, like uh, <coughs> it will be wrote. Yes, uh, if you want to see that I will run this macro and uh, I will show you. So this is print actually and after that I have I will uh, calculate the delta PL upon A. So P will be taken from here, L is taken from here, A will be taken from here, and E taken from here. And our strain is delta L upon L. So uh, delta is taken from here and L is taken from here. For Python is very simple to an easy language 
because of we don't have to require any uh, uh, semicolon and all this thing so it is very easy to understand actually so we'll uh, print that uh, string here so here it is you can see this is the actual sentence so we had put in noted comma actually we want to print e value so i had click on as uh, comma and e here you can see that uh, round s means it uh, here stress value will be like uh, 289 point some 99 or 289.85 so it will be rounded uh, about 290 like that so we'll make run so run python so it will take uh show uh, show me how to this inner diameter i will put enter the value 10 outer diameter is 12 known as 10,000 length of cylinder 100 modulus of 0, 0, 0. so stress in cylindrical row 290 strain in uh, cylindrical means post is around 0.001378 so here you can see that which i had uh, uh, wrote in uh, sem uh, inverted comma it will be written here you can see the stress in uh, rod it will wrote in st stress in cylindrical code and round s so it will be in 290 and then npa so it is like that this python language is very simple uh, thank you for watching my video